with experience, just holding Cameron out. Look at the tackle from Jeremy Cameron on Lynch. And they work it out here well. The Suns, it's not out of danger yet. Scully over to Ward. Within range. Callum Ward for another goal for the Giants. Going back day with Davis. Falls for day. Boot to ball. Goal day. Here come the Suns. How's that from Carmichael Hunt? Over to Swallow. Swallow doesn't panic. Gives it over to Riscatelli. And Riscatelli kicks another goal for the Suns. Stands. Gives it over. Brown in the dying seconds of the third quarter. Misses. A touch on. A pressure from behind. It was an even sort of arm wrestle in the first quarter. The second quarter, we sort of got going. And then just even in the third quarter, you could just see the bounce of the ball just not going our way. Uh, there's just a couple of things. We fell over. We ran into each other. The ball bounced over the back. They got a couple of goals out the back. And, you know, I often talk about smelling a rat. You could start to see that the rat had moved into the coach's box, I reckon. And uh, you could start to smell it really bad. I think we knew internally that, you know, that game was a big, big chance for us to win. Uh, three quarters on, we were up and... I think she just said, this is your chance to win, boys. Your first win for the footy club, which is obviously a huge honour. A huge thing to be a part of. Topped it to Ward, and Ward hits fire. Israel a chance to put the Suns in front. Well, the Giants in front. Just to the right of the post. Oh, they were going up to. They were ready. To 50. Spots a player wide. Spots Sheila in a bit of space. And finds him. So his first attempt in AFL football to get on the board will put his team in front. Giants hit the lead. Jacob Townsend couldn't keep his feet the second time. Almost throws it back to Trelaw. Trelaw throws it on the boot. And the little man with a giant goal. Talao trying to keep it going. Cameron, he's been quiet. But he's not quiet now. I think I was the first one that tried to high five him, but he wasn't going to stop when I high five him. So, yeah, he was just running around like Headless Chook after he took that goal. Ward steps the tackle. Long. He's got a man. I remember Jonathan Giles kicked two or three in that last quarter and um, that was probably, his third one was definitely around the time where we thought we've, we've got the game now. This is the icing on the cake. He kicks truly and they celebrate. I sort of just soaked it in. I sort of realised we were going to win our first game. I think I tweeted that night saying it's the most amazing day of my life. Like It was the best feeling ever. And I just wanted to experience it over and over again. But um, yeah, So it was probably one of the greatest days of my life. AFL level, you can't have a patch for about 10 or 15 minutes where you, you switch off. If that happens, as it showed in that game, you know, your teams can kick five or six goals and there's no coming back from that. I know going in there was a, a lot of media kind of, you know, attention and, you know, what if Gold Coast lose and that kind of stuff. And, you know, you kind of see it um, kind of all happening in front and just, yeah, there wasn't really much you could do about it at the time. I remember I went straight over to Chad Corns and um, it was actually like we you know, won the Premiership, it was a huge thing and uh, it took all year to win that first game and uh, it was a great feeling. It was just great, there was a big crowd there and it was going to be a good feeling, we never really had that winning feeling before so it was good. All week we went talking about what happens if we lose and that kind of thing but I think everyone was kind of thinking it, um, you know, which kind of, I think in a way set us up to, to fail. The location, uh, not, not, not that it matters, but you know, going down there, cool weather, um, you know, boys might have been a little bit caught off guard. Um, obviously, you know, they were a lot, a lot more fired up than we were, executed better than we were, uh, than we did, sorry, and you know, they won the game, simple as that. The whole squad was there, the whole squad, the whole staff, everyone was there. I think it was just a massive weight off our shoulders. I mean, um, it was our first year, we hadn't won a game yet. Um, I think everyone just really wanted to win a game. Gold Coast being new as well, and us being new, we wanted to show who, you know, who was a better team. And I think at that time, when we won, we sort of showed that. Yeah, we um, didn't really know the words, I think. Um, it was pretty funny, actually. We, um, you know, we tried our best there. The best moment for me was just ending up with the ball at the end of the game and I copped a little bit from the family for not keeping the footy because I threw it up in the air into the crowd I think so that was definitely a highlight, probably the highlight of my career at the moment. 
they're number one at the moment. Hopefully, you know, I can win numerous premierships, but it's number one by a country mile. Yeah, right up there, probably top two or three, I reckon. Uh, especially on the ground, like it's just I was your first ever AFL win, so you're always going to remember that. The feeling afterwards is, you know, probably the best I've had. Um, as I said, it was like a premiership, really, at the time. Um, I know looking back, it's probably not, but at the time it was. Um, I know I've had some good wins at the Bulldogs in finals as well, but uh, I think that was one that was probably up there with the top two. Very flat. Um, you know, we were very flat for quite a few days afterward as well. Um, there was a long, long trip home to, to the Gold Coast, that's for sure. It was one of the toughest loss, losses in my career, without a doubt. It was hard. Um, I can remember sitting down after the game and, and you know, and just thinking, um, you know, there, there needs to be a lot of improvement in areas of our game. Uh, we really did get a lot out of that. And we said to ourselves, let's make sure that that doesn't happen again. You know, it was short-term pain for some long-term gain. And I think since then, I think it's been very easy for me to motivate the boys to play against GWS uh, thereafter. I'd like to say we'd be one of the best rivalries in the near future. Um, I don't think they like being beaten by us, and we definitely don't like being beaten by them. You're always confident um, going into any match, but um, especially them, they're kind of in the same boat, or we're in the same boat as them. Um, we're only new, and um, we, there's so many exciting players, young players, like 20, 21 years old, 22 years old uh, for them, so it was just an exciting game, and there was a, it was kind of the future of football.